Hello everyone. In this video on database management system, our objective is to learn about two-phase locking protocol, strict two-phase locking and timestamp based protocol. So let us continue. Now coming to two-phase locking protocol. It divides the execution phase of a transaction into three parts. Into three parts. In the first part, it seeks permission for the locks it requires, right? In two-phase locking protocol, first it seeks the locks it requires. The second part is where the transaction acquires all the locks. Now the first part is it gets the lock. Second part is it acquires all the locks. And third part is as soon as the transaction releases its first lock, the third phase starts. In this phase, the transaction cannot demand any new locks, right? It only releases the acquired locks. It only releases the acquired locks. It cannot acquire the new lock any further. Two phase locking protocol has two phases. One is growing where all the locks are being required by the acquired by the transaction. And the second phase is shrinking where the, all the locks held by the transaction are being released. Right. So first you acquire the locks and then you perform the operation transaction and then you release the lock to claim an exclusive right lock. A transaction must first acquire a shared read lock and then upgrade it to an exclusive lock. Right? Strict two-phase locking. The first phase of a strict two-phase locking is same as two-phase locking. That is, it acquires the lock. Then all the locks in the first phase, the transaction continues to normally. The transaction continues normally. But in contrast to two-phase locking, strict two-phase locking does not release a lock after using it. Right, so what was happening in two-phase locking that lock were getting released after using, but here the locks are not getting released after locking. Strict two-phase locking holds all the locks until the commit point and releases them all at the same time. Right, so until the result is committed, until then the locks are not released and they are released all at the same time after the commit operation is performed. Strict two-phase locking does not have cascading about as two-phase locking does. Right, strict two-phase locking does not have cascading abort. Cascading abort is that is getting aborted one after the another, as two-phase locking does. Lock acquisition phase, lock acquisition phase. Here you can see it is getting one after the other locks, and then it releases all after the all at the same time after the commit. Right. Now next slide. Timestamp-based protocol. What is timestamp-based protocol? Timestamp based protocol is most commonly used concurrency control protocol. It is the most commonly used con concurrency control protocol. This protocol uses either system time or logical counter as a timestamp. Lock based protocol manage the order between the conflicting pairs among the transactions at the time of execution. Right. Lock based protocol manage the order order between the conflicting pairs among the transactions at the time of execution whereas timestamp based protocol start working as soon as a transaction is created right so first was what was happening was it was acquiring the lock and then it was performing the transaction and releasing the lock but here the order between the conflicting pairs among the transaction at the time of execution whereas timestamp based protocol start working as soon as a transaction is created every transaction has a timestamp associated with it right and the ordering is determined by the age of the transaction by the age of the transaction that is one which came earlier has some order compared to other transaction which is new in addition every data item is given the latest read every data item is given the latest read and write stamp timestamp this lets the system know when the last and write operation was performed on the data item the protocol manages concurrent execution concurrent execution means simultaneous execution such that the timestamp determine the serializability order in order to assure such behavior the protocol maintains for each data two timestamp values w timestamp q is the largest timestamp of any transaction that executed right successfully right w right timestamp is the largest timestamp of any transaction that executed right successfully r timestamp q is the largest timestamp of any transaction that executed read successfully w is for write and r is for read the timestamp ordering protocol ensures that any conflicting read and write operations are executed in timestamp order, right? Those who are uh, susceptible to getting conflicted, that is getting in way of each other are executed in timestamp order, right? Suppose a transaction 
टी आई इशूज अ रीड क्यू इफ टी एस टी आई इज लेस देन इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू टाइम टाइम क्यू देन टी आई नीड्स टू रीड अ वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू दैट वॉज ऑलरेडी ओवर रिटर्न हैंस द रीड ऑपरेशन इज रिजेक्टेड एंड टी आई इज रोल्ड बैक रोल्ड बैक मीन्स ऑल द ऑपरेशन आर परफॉर्म इन रिवर्स एंड द सिस्टम इज एस्टेब्लिश इन टू द ओरिजिनल स्टेट राइट इफ टी एस टी आई इज ग्रेटर देन डब्ल्यू टाइम्स क्यू देन द रीड ऑपरेशन इज एक्जीक्यूटेड एंड आर टाइम्स टाइम क्यू इज सेट टू द मैक्सिमम ऑफ आर टाइम्स टाइम क्यू एंड टी एस टी आई राइट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू लर्निंग अबाउट द टाइम टाइम बेस प्रोटोकॉल्स ऑफ कंकरेंसी कंट्रोल स्कूल इफ यू फाउंड दिस कंटेंट यूजफुल देन डोंट फॉर टू क्लिक ऑन द लाइक बटन एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल बिकॉज इट रियली हेल्प दिस चैनल एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एवरी वन आई विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टेक केयर गाइज